Okay, so we created a custom conversion for the add to cart. We, tr we created a custom conversion for the presentation. That's the, the landing, the thank you page. You know, as they opt in, they go to that presentation page. And then, and then your third most important metric is your custom conversion for the customers. So as a person purchases, enters their credit card information, and then goes to your next page as a confirmation, that is a custom conversion. It's a custom conversion and, it, and we need to set it up as a custom audience. So we'll check the audience here shortly. So all now, we're gonna if, do- if they've, if they've already purchased, what do we want? Why do we wanna capture that or have that as a, an audience? Very good question. The reason for it is so you can exclude them from future ads. Gotcha, okay. Okay, so that's the most important reason to tell you the truth and to be able to track the metric. That's what this is doing. So we're setting up a custom conversion so we could track the metric and so we can run Facebook ads specifically for people who are likely to purchase. So as you continue to run your Facebook ads, as you continue to build your pixel and all this, and all this data, the pixel is landing on all these different pages within your website. That pixel is grabbing all this data. What you'll eventually start doing is you'll start running conversion ads to your custom audiences, but your lookalike custom audiences around people who purchased. So that's why this custom conversion, because as we start to get really good at this and start running more conversion ads, we're going to also optimize for this. So we have to tell Facebook about this page. We want to we, we want to run ads to find people who are likely to land on this page. We also want to run ads to find people who are likely to land on the presentation page. Those are the only two objectives. So as we run these ads, it's 25 bucks a day. Dude, that's my number one objective is to get people to this presentation page or to get people to this thank you for purchasing page. And that's what you tell Facebook. That's yeah. what this is all about. So, so, should I, so is that a correct name? Perfect. You want, and, and you want to keep everything matching, like SWS yeah. ATC, SWS presentation, SWS course purchase. Perfect. And then, and then leave that all URL traffic. Click the drop down, select your category. Go select your category the above and then, and then look for purchase. So now we're going to tag this under, under purchases. So when we look at our metrics on that dashboard, we can, we can see this metric right here. Purchase purchase. Bam. And then put a value, go to, yeah, paste that link in right there. And then, um, and then yeah, hit the drop down and then go ahead and enter a value, enter a consecutive, a, a conversion value. What's the value? $99, $97. Yeah. Yeah. Enter that. Okay, cool. So you're good. So, so now you still have that link copied. Now let's also go set up a custom audience, which I'm, I think we did, but let's just double check, click the dots and then, um, audiences. So that's how you set up a custom conversion. Super, super important when running conversion ads specifically. So right here, presentation opt-in website visitors. Wow. We don't have a we don't have a, a customer audience. That's crazy. That's like the first audience I would always set up. I don't know why I didn't tell you to do that the time we did these ones. Yeah, man. Oh, that's a major one. So go to so, custom audience. Yep. And then um, do the same thing. So now the audience. The audience is so we can then exclude. I either am going to create an audience around those who land on my website, just the landing page, which is what we did on the last call, right? That's your other audience. And I'm going to include those. So if those people are landing on my page, they're seeing my ads every week, they're clicking, learn more. They're coming to my website, my landing page, but they're not opting in. As I mentioned on our other call, that's an audience you'll continue to retarget. But in this case, these are customers. So we're going to go website and we're going to specifically name this one customers. And in this case, when it's a, when it's a customer or when it's a lead, they go, they get to the presentation page, they opt in. Those are two lists. Those are two audiences that you'll always exclude. Okay. So just remember that you'll always exclude this audience from your ads. Um, okay. Go to, um, and you could take the 30, take it to 180, and then just go all website visitors, hit that drop down and go to specific people uh, who visit specific web pages and then just paste in. People, okay. Yeah, and then paste in that link and then just name the audience. That's SWC um, customers or students or whatever you want to name it. 
SWS customers, course customers, perfect, course students, whatever. Perfect. So now, man, now you can, now you can, and again, that's, that's an obvious audience to always <clears throat> exclude if you keep running ads regarding the same course, right? You want to exclude those. Mm -hmm. And then let's say you drop another product. That's, that, the, these, this specific audience is so important for when you also include in future ads. Let's say you come out with new products, man. This is your audience. Yeah. Those so, are so that's powerful, man. Not only do you have an email list of people that bought, yeah, that's, that's okay. That's cool. But the fact that I actually have them in an audience and I can target them on Facebook, that's cool too, right? Your mm -hmm. customers. So, Hey guys, thank you for being such a great customer. Hey, guess what? We have a new promotion. We have a new product rolling out. You won't believe what Steve's up to these days, right? Yeah. Like you, you can target that audience and that's powerful, man. Customers, you know, so here you're, so you're done, right? You're done. And this, okay. So here's, here's where, let's go back, go back. Oh, let's see if you can go back. So you can go back to that page. Just hit the, yeah. See if you, okay. So long-term when you scale, let me see if it took us back. Okay. Perfect. Right there in the middle, you don't got to do it now, but create a lookalike, right? Mm -hmm. You know what a lookalike audience is? Yeah. I mean, it's an audience that, that looks like data wise yeah. Um, yeah. Of, of people that I've either sold to or that I'm looking for. After a couple months, you'll be running ads to just your lookalike audiences. So as you go and set up a Facebook ad, and this I'm talking like, like 90 days from now, mm -hmm. that pixel will be so used where that pixel, the data on there is, is amazing. It knows your customer. It knows the type of people that are landing on your page. It has all the data, right? Your whole object, your whole, your whole strategy is to then only run ads, conversion ads to look alike audiences of your customers or, or not, not, or it's, and, and look alike audiences, look alike audiences around your, um, around your presentation. So the opt-ins, the leads, mm -hmm. right? That custom audience that you have right there, which is presentation opt-in leads in a few months, you'll have a lot of data on that pixel um on that page which would allow you to create a look-alike audience and that's where you scale to the moon that's when that's when you just leverage facebook and you don't have to target you don't have to, you don't have to do nothing no more you retarget a look-alike audience and, and facebook's algorithm and their machine takes over from there because they already know your exact client so they go out and search and find more yeah right like now right here you're 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 opening up your business and targeting a cold market people that never seen you before people that don't even, you know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But after a while, and, 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 and as that pixel gets more data from people that are landing on these pages, you're then able to create a lookalike audience. And that's when Facebook, the dams break loose. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's like a flood mm -hmm. gate of, of that's where people scale. So that's when, you know, especially people that I follow that have these, these digital courses where they sell them for 1500, 2000 and that's how they're taking you know a couple million a year in revenue to 50 60 70 million a year you know because of of the traffic that can come through facebook lookalike audiences but mm -hmm. that's down the line but that's that's just major potential for you guys man okay major you guys yeah <clears throat> so as i'm as i'm working on uh this next video and like i said it, it'll probably take him till monday to get the to actually film it so I'm gonna, I'll do the script over the weekend. It'll take me two or three days to edit. So if I turn off, so how do I turn off that ad? And then how would I, I, I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll turn it off. I'll schedule next mid to late next week with you. And by then hopefully I'll have that, that video done so that we can start a new ad, right? As opposed to turning back on this ad. Yes. We, and you'll take the data, like for example, you'll 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 now have an audience. Yeah. You'll be able to retarget those who, in fact, set up that audience real quick right now. Or did you? You actually already did, right? You have an audience building of those who are watching that video. Yeah, but now right? we have a, yeah, but we switched the video. So I also switched the time because now instead of a eight a twenty minute video, they're watching a four and a half minute video again. No, but what about the actual ad, the one that's running right now? That right. video is getting, it's getting a ton of views, right? Well, 
I mean, I would think it's on. Yeah, where, where, where do you, so I would go to. Get out of here. Um, just go to Facebook, go back to the ads manager. And just um, click on the dots and go to the ads manager. Yeah, perfect. So hit the drop down, the Ron Fleck, hit that drop down your name and just go to the other, the other account. Okay, so, and then click on, just go ahead and check the box and then click on the, the um, click on, click on the, the ads for, click on the third tab because let's go to the actual, let's go to the actual video. Click on, okay, click on the, the edit right below default name. Yeah, edit. And then click on that um, that drop down. You see one placement, and then to the right, there's that square, that drop down. Um, so where am I looking at the middle of the page? No, to the very right, to the very, very right. There's that drop Here. down. Yeah, right there, perfect. And then scroll down to- um, so, so question. If I, if I, let's say I wanted to keep this uh, video running, but I wanted to mm -hmm. change the ad, can you just come in here and do that? Or does it mess up the whole ad? You, well, you wouldn't be able to change it because it's, it's placed on your business page. So it's a post. Give me okay. one second. You know, you're just scrolling through and then boom you'll see the sponsored ad. So 43 shares, 116 people, you know, gave it a thumbs up, click on, and it's not even a, it's not even enga an engagement ad, which is pretty cool. 43 shares, and it's not even an engagement ad. Normally with an engagement ad, you get that. You'll get like, you'll get like hundreds of shares and even hundreds of comments, depending on obviously how long you're running it for, but at, at 25 bucks a day, that's a lot. Like that's a lot. You know? Oh, I see. I see. Got 116 here. I'm just yeah. gonna take a screenshot of this for for later. Yeah. So um, that's good. But see, even the shares, the comments, the engagement, that doesn't even matter. Like it doesn't even matter because first of all, we're not paying for that. We're paying for conversions. We're paying for people to click right. learn more, right? Mm -hmm. um, but again, that's a post that's on the business page, so it, it can no longer be changed. Once it's here, it's here. Okay. All you all you can do is just shut it off. You know, that, that, that's what you want to kind of do is either shut it off and yeah, just shut it off and start a new ad. So I think what I'd like to do is, is turn this off until I get okay. that video. Let's go to um, the ads manager. So go back to the dots and just click on, you click it from there, ads manager. And what I always do is I always make sure each, each blue is shaded gray. Like you could shade that blue to gray right here on the first tab campaign and the whole thing is off. But what I, I like to do just for the eye, I mean, it's just a personal thing, but I shade them all gray. So right there, the um, do the first one, the campaigns just go from left to right. You mean? Uh, like start in the campaign tab, but I guess oh, you could do and, that. And do them all? No, just um, shade that one and then click on, yeah, click on ad sets the second tab and then shade that one to gray. You don't have to check the box, just shade it to okay. gray. And then, and then do the third tab and shade all those two to um, gray. That's how you properly turn off an ad. Not everyone does it that way. Okay. That's how you fully turn it off. Now, if we didn't do anything different, can you just go in here and turn it back on the same way you turned it off? Not really, man. Like you can, oh. you for sure can, but I, I've just learned not to. And I've learned from other people, you know, not to. Um, and I've also done that myself on ads. And then for some reason, the ad, it slows down or the cost per result will, will increase. Okay. Like all of a sudden, like, yeah, that's why you, once the ad is on, don't touch it. Like, don't touch it. Like, so do you, do you delete the ad or do you save it just for data purposes or? Yeah, you could totally save everything here. Let, let everything stack. Just okay. make sure everything's turned off the proper way with, on, on each tab, right? Okay. All blues to gray. And after that, just, you'll just have, and that just, that's why the reason why I do all that is so I can have a clean dashboard. So when I come here and I see blue, those are ads that are automatically on, like just, it just registers fast. It's all color okay. coordination, right? And then I right. look at this, I know everything is off. 
Okay. So it's just easier for the eye in my personal opinion, but, but that's how you turn it off and then just start up a new one. And then as you start to really take off, you know which ones are on all the blues and it's only really just a few because the other ones you're turning off and, and you're testing different ones. So it looks like you're converting, man. You are converting. You're just not converting on the page on the yeah. presentation, you know, but these numbers are exciting, man. This actually really excites me. And, and, and that's why, like, once you do, I, I know you're going to take that price up. Once you do, if you look at how much you spent for all of that, let's say you take the price point to just simply 497. How much did you spend total so far with that much for that much traffic? Like that many leads? Like, like think like once you start selling your, your course at 497, it's going to take you one deal to even turn a profit from where you're at right now, which right now it looks ugly, right? Mm -hmm. But that's why that higher price point on a digital course, it's so important. And, and it's something you have to be knowing. You have to be thinking that for the long term. It's not always going to be 97 bucks. Uh-uh. This is too much. This is too good to keep it at that price, you know? But, but, but all I'm trying to get you to see is the fact that when you spend, it's like, man, you just need a few to make it back. That's the beauty. So, so in Kartra, I've, I've not spent a lot of time going mm -hmm. through all my analytics and everything, but mm -hmm. um, if I go to, I just want to see what the, so we've ran this for the last eight days. Okay. So I should be able to go in to just see what my sales have been on this product for the last eight days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that it right here? Those two right there. Or is it three? I had, I had two yesterday that showed up. I wonder why it didn't show up in here. And, and, do, you, and, and do you know if that, see, because we didn't have a custom, con, well, actually, it should still stay in results. Do you know if those came from the ads? No. You don't know? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they are because it's 97. Everything we've done prior, we've been selling it for 49.95. Are you kidding me, Ron? No. Dude, we should be celebrating right now. You got two freaking sales this week from this campaign? Well, I thought I had four because Bro, I- Bro, are you kidding me? Phone. That's freaking exciting. How come you didn't text me those good news? I'm over here thinking you're still kind of, excuse my language, but shouldn't bricks. I'm thinking you're still worried about these ads or your page or whatever. You made four sales this week from this? Well, this is showing me two. But, okay, but even two. But when it comes in, you know, I get the email from Kartra. Mm -hmm. I thought I got two just uh, yesterday alone and one this morning. So I don't know. It should show well, up. You can, you can go to um, analytics at the top. You can go to analytics and you can go to um, sales. sales. So... So the last, uh, let's just say the last week. Or go the last seven days. So it's showing two sales here. Dude, even two sales, man. Yeah. Like, that's why. So, yeah, I mean, it's, that's and crazy. I think that that's probably, you know, who knows if it's someone that got in the funnel and, and uh you know looked at one of like maybe they got our second email and decided you know we don't know where that came from well the only way they're getting an email is if they're often in, often into a specific form and the only form that's out is that form and that's at 97 dollars, right so it's like yeah those came in from your ads no i know the, these two came in from the ad because everything else that we've done we've we yeah. offer a promo code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, wow, man! What? So the the other two? What makes you think those other two are part of this? Oh, two other sales. Yeah. What make, did you? Well, just because uh, you know, when I get a sale, Stripe sends me an email. Yeah, yeah. And, and I thought I got a couple different ones. Gotcha. Okay, here's one from Stripe. That was yesterday. How much is that? Is that for ninety seven? Ninety three eighty nine. Yeah, after, so that's after okay. they take out, and then there was one on Wednesday for the same amount. Yep. 
Okay. What about the other the, the other two? And then then there for, I got one on Wednesday from Stripe. Is that so it? It's a ninety-seven dollar. So I think is I that get, number two or number three? I don't know. It's just a different email. So I think what happens is I get two emails from Stripe, one saying payment of 97, and then they send another one saying this much is on your way, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Um, well, I get anyway, one so, email. So we're, get so one. we're getting sales from that ad. I mean, it's not been a, you Dude, know. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. If you had shut off maybe the other three, maybe a day earlier, then that budget would have been even less and you would probably be with breaking even at this point. And that's freaking one week, man. That's one week tapping into a cold market. That's something to be excited about. Once okay. you start building these custom audiences and really flexing that pixel, mm -hmm. that's when it gets really crazy. That's when, that's when, yeah, that's when your sales increase. Um, and when you're retargeting, so when that pixel gets data and you're retargeting these audiences, and, and now people are seeing you multiple times, man, if you're converting cold traffic like that, 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 that means just pour it on, pour it on, pour it on. So you guys need weekly videos for sure, man. Well, yeah. So if we have these weekly videos, mm -hmm. would the weekly videos take the place of that four and a half minute video? Is that where these yeah. weekly videos, they go in the ad? Yeah. 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 The weekly video is the ad. Okay. Is the Facebook ad and the whole objective is to get them to click learn more to opt in. Okay. That's it. So, so there there is a there is a video that I think would work. Uh and that is one that I called it's uh I started to show it to you last last time. It's where I it's winter outside, then Steve's talking, we pan in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about how his oh, garden's yeah. dead and oh, everything. Yeah. And uh, that one was kind of blotchy on us, but at the end, he makes a really good appeal. He shows this massive sunflower microgreen. Yep. And I think, and that one's already done. It's to music. It's about two minutes, two and a half minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We could set that up as an ad. In the text of the ad, just make sure you write, you know, and click learn more for more information or click learn more to, you know, to, to attend our free workshop. That's what I would call it, man. I would call it a workshop. But see, we really don't have a workshop. The presentation is a workshop. The presentation is a case study. It's a workshop. It's, I mean, you can call yeah. it a presentation. That's what it is. But, but at the same time, I know you can put a twist to it. You guys are in the gardening space. You know, like you're, you're attracting that type of person, a workshop. Now, I'd love to attend a workshop on gardening. Heck mm -hmm. yeah. I love that type of stuff. I'd love to attend a workshop. And a workshop, what is a workshop? A seminar. What's a workshop? A presentation. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah. You know? So, so I could take the ad right now that's running as the ad or the video that's running as an ad. It, well, it's already on the presentation page because right now our ad was running mm -hmm. the same video for the ad as the presentation page. Remember we switched that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we could run an ad with steve doing the you know the winter gardening video is what i call it that could be the video ad taking us taking them you know through the the funnel to the presentation page which has the four minute really nice edited video so that's actually something that that we could do you you totally can and as long as you're verbally you know steve is verbally telling them to click learn more he's either he's either going to do that at the end of the video that's the call to action so as you guys, as he says his, you know, goodbyes at the end of the video, that's the call to action is to click learn more. So that's, so all I was saying is that if you don't have that verbally in the video, then you'd have to write it in the text. Yeah. In the video. So do, do people not get it? I mean, most people. No, they do. Probably they do. get it, but you really do need to have a call. I think he said, at, you know, go to sproutingwithsteve.com yeah. or click below or something, but I don't, at that time we weren't doing Facebook. So yeah, I don't yeah, exactly. To yeah. Yeah. Learn more. It, it, it's no big deal. Like run that one. It, yeah. It, it's no big deal. Run it. And then, and then just from, you know, from this point on, just make sure that that's at the end of every video, which, yeah. which brings me to my real ultimate 
point is that I truly believe, man, anything you're going to put out is good. Anything, anything, man, you have to know that. Don't try to spend too much time creating. Like, don't think you have to write a script. You don't. Yeah. Like, Steve, Steve needs to literally pull out his cell phone and give us a random shot of him in the kitchen sprouting. And at the end of that video that he's shooting on his cell phone, hey, guys, and by the way, we put together a workshop presentation where I go deep into what this is all about. I'd love for you to attend. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to our registration page where you can view our four minute presentation. See you guys there. Yeah. That is so powerful at the end of the video. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. As you guys just live your life, as he just lives his life and builds his business, those one off shots on your cell phone are all it takes. And it's so simple for you to do. When you put on the document hat versus put trying to put on the the creative hat, yeah. Like you got like a lot of people try to put on the creative cap. We're, we're not, creative? What am, what is this Hollywood? Like I'm not a, no director. Like what do you mean creative? Like I don't got time. All I can do is 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 document and 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 that right there is social media. Social media is that is that that's why that video is so powerful of, of him, you know, or you recording the, the window top and the outside, it, the, your hand is shaking. You know what I mean? Like that realness is what people gravitate to. It's not the green screen. It's not anything creative. So what we could do then with this video is when we get towards the end where he's talking about this is the website and everything prior to that, I could find a spot just to fade out. Yeah. And, yeah. And then what I'll do is I'll have him shoot himself with his phone phone. So mm -hmm. it's quick, no green screen and just say, you know, come in and say, Hey, uh, that was, I shot that a few months ago. It's summer and things are really cooking and, and blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. And, and, and then he can do the learn more for our, to, to, and, you know, to register for our, uh, our short presentation to give you everything you need to know about sprouting. That's it, man. That's it. That's it. Okay. Well, I, can I'm add, gonna... I can add him doing that to this video, which he doesn't do it on. Cause we weren't even uh -huh. thinking Facebook at that do time. That. Do that. Have him put on the same poncho and say, Hey man, give me, give me, give me 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's a 10 second pitch at the end. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so yeah, that should be at the end. And again, if it wasn't in the end, then you would write in the text. That's why I was. Yeah, well, it, it, it makes it nicer when he does the call. Yes, man. That's what it's all about. Every piece. That's what I'm trying to tell you also is that every video that you guys put out from this point forward, I don't care if it's not an ad, every video, man, every video needs to have a call to action to the landing page. Mm -hmm. No more sprouting with steve.com. That's not our landing page. No, right. I need everyone and their mother going through my funnel. I need them all going through the presentation page. That's the yeah. only link we promote. Yeah. That's the only call to action in every single video from this point on. All traffic goes to this landing page. You know what I mean? That would be powerful. That, that, that's when it's really game time. That's yeah. when you actually have a, 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 a um, what's the word I'm looking for? That's when you actually find your path where everything now funnels in. I truly believe most people are scattered brain. We're over here scattered. We're, we're, we're scattered. Most don't have that legitimate offer and that one piece of bait. That's your bait. Your bait is a presentation page. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, that, that would capture so many leads. And then the email, that's where you nurture the, the lead and you get them to buy more on the back end. You know? Yeah, I, I think both those sales came as a result of the of the emails, and I don't don't know how we know that for sure, but it just seems like. Well, you can you could click on each cell, you can click on each lead, and you can go go to Kartra, man, Let's, and see and see where they. You should know this stuff. You don't know this stuff. Listen, yeah, this is I'm not a full cart. I'm not a Kartra not yet. Okay, you're. I'm gonna I mean, graduate. When, gonna... I, when I started working in here, I bar I barely knew how to log in here. I thought you were a pro the day I spoke to you. I'm like, dang. Oh, this this has been, I've learned all this just by fiddling. Good, man. You're a good fiddler. Um, so what do we, what do we want to do? Can go to, go to, go to, um, I mean, let's, we, let's go to those cells. So if anything, go to the list, go to, go to my communications, go to, go to my list. Let's look for our customer list. Where's the customer list? So the sprouting with Steve membership, membership. right here. Yeah. And the last lady was named Mary. Okay. Let's look for Mary. 
uh, which I don't know. These, these aren't necessarily like last one first, are they? I think it is, man. I want to say it is. I've noticed that it is. Um, is the I last wish... person that signed up as far as this is concerned was, uh, I think her name was Mary. Awesome. So click on, click on, okay, so click on her name. Click on her name and then go into log. Click on log. And then this right here will show you every, everything she visited. Welcome video. So she's. So does this mean she she had a abandoned cart and she came back later maybe? That was August twelfth. That yeah, was because she purchased it. Uh, oh, so she went to the overview quite a few times. See, or actually, that's welcome video. Welcome video. Well, see if she, anyway. Transaction, go to transactions. So she bought at price point three, two days ago. So that's the new price. So yes, I mean, she came in, whether she came in right away or through the sequence, she's there, there are two sales because we've not run anything at $97. Damn. Dude, I'm telling you, Pastor, game time, buddy. It's, it's game time. It's game time. It's game time. Now it's just going to come down to a weekly, weekly ad, a weekly ad. We need a new video. That's, what, that's why I truly believe in the documentation. Document little parts of your day. Turn it into a freaking ad. It's so simple. Anything, the day in the life. That's what people love on social media. It's the realness, the day in the life. If he's in, if he's sprouting all day like like I thought, like I'm assuming he is. I don't know. I'm just assuming he is. I'm in, I'm assuming he's in that garden more than you. If he well, is, every day, that's footage there. all day. That's 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 non like that's like. Yeah. All you can have footage. Yeah. No, there's no shortage of. There's no shortage. So so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that winter video. I'm gonna spruce it up a little bit. Uh, so it's a little bit quicker to the, to get to what he's talking about. And then I'm going to have him film an ending, mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. that 10 second call to action to register for our uh, presentation yep. Yep. or for our, uh, our short dissertation on sprouting. And, uh, that will be the video for the next ad. And when they go to the landing or to the presentation page, it'll be that four and a half minute video where he talks about the benefits of sprouting, talks about the course. And then, you know, then that's uh, there's a call to action there. So awesome. Go to, go to my list real quick or go to your list, your list, go to the, um, the, the, the opt-ins. Like, is it the top one, 10 minute presentation? This, this is the one right here. Actually, got, top 10. Yeah. Top 10. We've got 128 now. 128. Come on, pastor. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Out of out of what four something spent? Uh, we're we're up like seven, I think, aren't we? No, dude, no. I thought I saw. Where where would I see the like the? Click on um, uncheck that one selected the blue to the right in the ads in the third tab. Yeah, uncheck that one, and then go back to the to the first tab campaigns. Uh. The first tab, yeah, that one, and then uncheck that box. So total spent four eighty six. Is that just on that ad? Yeah, well, yeah, that's all you have here. Well, so, what about when I was running three? I was running four ads. Yeah, that's all part of that. Are you sure? Yeah, that's that. all part of that. So that's the amount spent in this from the first to the fourteenth. So we've spent 486. We brought in basically 200. So for 286, 
we've just purchased. Now, what is this 140 here? The results. That should be that should be the registration. So how many people actually landed on the presentation page? So the results are leads. You should have 140 leads. Then why why on here if this is the form? Yeah, if that's the form. So there's 128. Is that one? Yeah, 128. So that would mean that that the difference of 140 and this 12 or so they got to the page, but they didn't actually fill it out. Maybe. No, no, because the the result it's counting based on landing on a specific page. But they can't get to that present SWS presentation page unless they fill out that form. Exactly. So, so this number this number should not be higher than that number. For yeah, whatever so the, reason. Yeah. So there's a difference of a few leads right there. Okay. So but basically this this is a result of our last ad 128 yes. leads yes and we and it cost us 286 dollars to get those yes so that's because where your back end your emailing needs yeah. to be tight yeah that that's that's why because there's 128 people that are that are on the yes and no side right now mm -hmm. they're literally on the yes and no side so my yes and no emails better be on point so I wonder if I can if, catch a few from there that there's wonder, your profit. I wonder if I should maybe not me. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I understand the yes and the no, but I, I think I'm thinking that more people should be getting into my yes column. But I think that because, you know, we changed the video, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so instead of having to watch it for 18 minutes to get into mm -hmm. the yes column, we mm -hmm. changed yep. a different video. Mm -hmm. And I think we changed that, that time, um, you know, of, of, uh, let's just see here. Yeah. Go to, go to my videos and then just, um, well, the sequence, I just want to see. So is this where you set the rule up here? No, you set, oh well, yeah, they're both rules, but the split, look at the split. The split's based on the tag. So basically they would have to watch that whole four minutes in order to get into this true column. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I would almost like everybody who comes in and doesn't buy to get yeah, I know these over here are telling people to jump back over here. Mm -hmm. Go and watch it. <clears throat> to to you. Watch I mean, it. if I if I if I opted in and watched one minute of something and didn't hear the offer, because the offer is not coming to the end. Yeah. Middle to end. So if Can I don't I, stay there, or if I don't reach that point, but all of a sudden are, I'm getting emails on buying. Yeah. You know what I mean? How many can I? Where can I tell how many are in this? in this sequence here. That's is a good really? question, man. I was thinking the same thing. Like I'm thinking. What, what are these, are these, this, this came over with your. Yeah. It's not the number. That's not that, that number's not oh. that. Like I, I, I know there has to be a way I would think there's a way that's a, a Karcher support question. Yeah. Cause I don't know the answer to that one, but that's an, a, an answer I need to know. I, I'd like to know. It, yeah. It would it'd be would, nice to see like who's in this column and where they're I at. I totally think, think you can. I would t what's that bottom one at the bottom that wasn't activated? Well, I I skipped from the eight reasons. Mm -hmm. People don't grow sprouts. So that's the one, two, three, the fourth one. And I didn't have anything here. I don't have, you know, we're not doing the timer on this. Mm -hmm. And so, so I wasn't anything, sure. Delete it. If anything, delete it and then just... Um, yeah, you could delete that one and then just leave it, leave it at it as is. And you can hit that, the condenser thing at that button at the top to, you know, condense it, to bring it all together. Like this? No, at the very, no. Well, yeah, you could do that, but that. Yep, then I got the everything. <laughs> the, like if you go to the very, very top of the screen, right there, to the left, to the left, that one. Yeah, hit that one, arrange icon. 
So it just oh. brings it, tightens it up. That's all. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So yeah, I, I what I want to do also with with my partner Steve is he he's very 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 savvy when it comes to scripts because he's a writer. He just finished gotcha. a book. He's been working a month and yeah. a half on. Gotcha. And so um, I want him to go through this with me and basically. I'm I'm really seeing that this is where the money's going to be is in the follow up. Well, even if you look at the just ba- if, even if you just do basic math and look at the basic numbers, like if those 128 are in here somewhere, and if I can convert, I mean, go off the lowest number. Like if I can just convert one percent, like what is that? What's one percent? What's another sale at least right now? At, le- at least that's another sale, right? And that's 1%. So that would allow you to at least almost break even. But then, but then at the same time, you have to look at that as, as a, a cost of my leads. Now these 128, I'm gonna, if, as long as I can bring value, I'm going to continue to nurture that list. And I'm going to have different products that I'm going to be offering them. Yeah. That's how you guys need to be thinking. You know, this is the front entry product. But what else do we have on the back? Like what else can we put out? Can we put together another, another digital product? And maybe sell that one for 57 to this existing list of 128 that is interested in what we're doing. Yeah. Right. Like that's where you really email automation is going to be your best friend. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, like that, that's so powerful, man. And then, and then taking people to another presentation, getting them to getting them to purchase something else, you know, along these lines, that's mm-hmm. when you have emails going out every day and making sales every day on different products that you guys have. Yeah. Not just one you know well we've already made a few hundred dollars just because everybody that comes into our course we recommend a certain supplier Amazing. and we're on a 12 12 commission with them cool so everybody's buying their their product and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i mean that's not a product of our own but i i we, we've talked about some different things you know splitting up the sprouting and the the microgreen Right, because they're, they're kind of two different courses in one. So there's there's Are things they? that we could do. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I yeah. don't even know what microgreen. So the first like, in our course, the first five, uh, the first three or four tabs are mm-hmm. all sprouts. So sprouts are basically when you grow the seed to where it sprouts. Mm. If you then take that and and if you were to grow it to where it now starts to get green and gets a little blossom, that's called a microgreen. So that would be like mm. what you would see on your salads on in high end restaurants. They put those mm-hmm. microgreens as garnish, mm. maybe on an omelet. Mm-hmm. 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 They're, they're they're the most nutritious part of the plant's life is in the microgreen and sprout stage. I believe that. Oh, that's so a microgreen. A microgreen broccoli sprout. Mm-hmm. which only takes about six days to grow is 10 times wow. as healthy and nutritious as a wow. full grown head of broccoli, which, wow. you know, when your kids eat broccoli, it's usually a couple bites of the a part of it. They never eat a whole head. So imagine 10 times yeah. the nutrition yeah. of a whole head in a, in a sprout. That's actually pretty nummy. I mean, kids snack on them. They grab them and chew them. It doesn't taste Dude, I like I need a- that course, pastor. I yeah. need that course, man. I want so to learn that which, which, which email should I send it? Well, let's, which, let's do this. Whatever email you have, the one that I'm sending you emails. So let's do this. If I go to. Actually, maybe, yeah, you could just do it here or hit done and exit the green one. Exit. That's what I need to do. Okay. So now if I go to my product. What you could do is you, you could just go to my memberships and you can add someone there. Okay. Dude, that's so cool. And then just hit the hit the dots, the three dots. No, to the on the actual oh, image. Here. Yeah. And then you go to um yeah, members list, and then you could just add from there. Okay. That's cool, okay. man. Add down here. Yeah. So that then- that's exciting, man. Just get get all that. And 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 again, if you need to go back in and tighten up your email automation look at those emails if he's a freaking writer man are you kidding me he needs to be writing a story it needs to be story time these emails story time with steve yeah he's kind of he's he's kind of put all that on me yeah okay so busy he's like you can do it write up the script and and you know i don't i don't mind doing it Mm -hmm. Um, okay 
Okay. Well, in that case, yeah, that email, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. A few, a few extra cells this week from that 128 list is the difference. Yeah. Just a few, man. Just a few. If three came in out of the 128, that would have been, we would have been sitting on five cells. That right there is breaking even. Mm -hmm. In one week, in one week, one week. You know, so just keep me posted, man. Keep me posted. Yeah. Okay, so you activated, you, you extended your calendar, so I'll book something for next week, and I'll, Sounds good, man. I'll get that ad put together, and we'll, we'll get a nice post. Mm -hmm. so that when we're on the call, we can just go to that post and create the next ad. Sounds good, Pastor. I appreciate All right. you, man. Have a great weekend. Let hey, me know you too. Okay. Start, start watching it with the wife, of course. It's game time. Thanks, okay. boss. Yep, bye. Bye-bye.